Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be recommending the sixth book on my list. And before going, getting onto the book, I'll give a slight brief about the author himself. It's a book by Jeff Vandermeer. Jeff Vandermeer, as some of you might already know, is the author of the phenomenally successful series of books called uh, the Area X trilogy. Inhalation, which was made into a film, which is there on Netflix, does some level of justice to the books. Uh, I, I've I've not read all three of the books, but I've read the first one, which is Inhalation, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. There's another book which has recently come out by the same author, which is called Dead Astronauts. Now, this was a book which I have been waiting for. You know how we all waited for Harry Potter? I've been waiting for this book just like that. And I was lucky to get a copy before the lockdown, and I wanted to have a hardcover of this, and I have one. And the book is just gorgeous. The cover did not look that great on Amazon with the pictures and all, but uh, but the textures and the color tones are really, really fantastic. And this is one book which I'm going to take all the time I want to to finish this because I want to really enjoy it as much as possible and for as long as I possibly can. The book that I'm recommending today is Jeff Vandermeer's Born. Now this is one of my favorite books and uh, this author has become such a favorite of mine that I have started to enjoy his work as much as I enjoy my other favorites like Murakami and David Mitchell. The book is set up in a post-apocalyptic world and the dates are not really clear. It's a world which has fallen apart. There is no uh, social structure left anymore. Uh, the environment is completely destroyed so much so that the, that the rivers that are flowing around are, are yellow and they project a very different kind of aesthetic altogether. There is an association called the biotech which have, which in the past have been experimenting and creating a lot of bioengineered beings and there is one which is a huge monstrous flying bear which is called Maud and there's another creature which develops over the course of the book which one of the characters from the book names Born. It was an absolutely stunning book for me because there is no real plot if you look at the story. It, it's not a plot driven story. It, it it rides on the feelings and the emotions that it produces and, and in that process it says so much. By the end of it you are bewildered that did all of that really come from this one single book which is not even promising to be a philosophically oriented book. The book was released in 2017 and was received very well by the critics. There's this new genre that has come up and Jeff Vandermeer is considered to be the pioneer of that genre. It's, it's starting to be known as new weird fiction and this book definitely falls in that category. There are a lot of special points which I can actually keep on talking about this book but for the sake of keeping this video short I'm going to talk about only two things that struck me very strongly while I was reading this book. One is the level of intertextuality that the author has woven in this book. While reading this book at times you are so strongly reminded of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein that, that you could actually see that this is an adaptation of the original text. It's a monster that is being created and, and, and slowly and slowly the monster develops from someone some, from something very innocent, very naive to something very threatening and dangerous and murderous by the end of it. You also sense shades of Bram Stoker's Dracula because Bourne feeds on anything that he can get to and he eats up animals, he eats up people, he, eat, he, he can swallow and engulf anything and in that process those beings become a part of him. So, so th there are shades of the nature of a vampire here as well. I saw the National Theatre's adaptation of Frankenstein a few days back on YouTube. It was available for free for a certain period of time and I had happened to read this play as well a few years back and when I was reading Born, I was so strongly reminded of that play and watching the play again a few days back, it, it all came back to me so strongly that the, the idea of intertextuality in this book is so strong that it's not even funny. The second thing that I want to talk about from this book is the exploration of the idea that how at times a romantic relationship can be threatened and maybe even completely destroyed by a relationship which is completely non-romantic in its nature. Born by all means was like a child to one of the female characters from the book and her relationship with Born created a huge problem with her boyfriend. It was very interesting to see that how something so harmless can appear so threatening to someone so much so that they end up destroying everything around themselves by their own fear of it which is also again a comment on the larger statement that the book is trying to make. Born is one of my favorite books of all times and I have recommended this book to numerous people but so many times people have come back to me and said that Rahul we didn't enjoy this book and we don't get it what's so great about this book and why did you recommend it. So just to make things clear 
everyone may not be able to enjoy this book but i still recommend this book very strongly so i would suggest the way to go about it should be you pick up a sample on kindle you go through a few pages and see if you like it and then pick up the book i enjoyed it immensely and it still beats me why some people don't like it i hope you enjoyed reading this book as much as i did if you have read it already i would love to talk about this book it's one of my favorites so feel free to drop in comments and if you want me to talk about any other book also please tell me and drop in a comment i will surely pick it up and discuss it thank you so much guys cheers